The mission of the REVS program at Stanford is to bring the automobile to the center of the university. If you want to bring the car to the center of the university, you need people to have the ability to play with cars. So what we've built is one of the best simulators in the country, but also it does certain things that no other simulator in the country can do. So my name is Chris Bach, and I'm a graduate student in mechanical engineering. I was surprised by how easy it is to control the whole driving scenario. You can get rid of a lot of the uh, variables that you might have if you're testing in a real car. And also, it's just, it was just easy to pick up and use. I'm Dave Miller. I'm a PhD student. I study behavior design. Because I can customize the dashboard and the center console and then also elements in the environment, I can design simulations that test people's reactions to interface design components. There's a lot of flexibility in the system. It really is much easier to use than other simulators that I've worked with. Many car simulators can measure how fast you're driving, how hard you're pushing the brake and gas, etc., how you handle turns, and our simulator, of course, does all that. But what we've been able to do is to couple that with things your body does. We're doing a very elaborate EEG that is measuring brain activity. We also have an eye tracking system, so we can know not only what your brain and body are doing, we can see where your eyes are looking. So basically, we capture every conceivable aspect of the car and the driver. People interested in design can change the way the car works. Mechanical engineers, we have the ability to change the driving model of the car. People in psychology can study. People from interested in just using this as an art piece. How can you do art with this amazing screen and simulator? So here are the ideas. Let's get a simulator that anyone can just dive in and start messing around with. This was a great collaboration between the RES program at Stanford, the Center for Automotive Research at Stanford, and the Toyota Collaborative Safety Research Center. We now want everybody at the university to be using it, regardless of discipline.